All right, we have just finished talking about electrons and basically how they behave in an atom. And with them jumping from a lower ener energy level up to a higher energy level and, and emitting here uh, some energy. And that allows us to see different colors basically when we look at, at atoms of metals. And part of this here that, that we're talking about is the photoelectric effect. And that's exactly what we have just described is that we are emitting some electron from a metal when the light shines on the metal. So that is the photoelectric effect that we just finished talking about. The th what we can do with this is calculate how much energy it is emitting and if we think back to our, our visible light spectrum, if you know the frequency of that emitted photon, we can basically figure out what color light it is, what frequency it's at, and also how much energy it has. So there's a lot that we can do with this information. And that's what we're going to look at is take a quick look here on how to actually calculate the speed of light and wavelength and frequency. So a few things we need to jot down here that you need to be familiar with is of course the, the equation here, which you do need to know. C equals lambda times V, which there are your variables. C is the speed of light, which is a constant. Lambda, which is like an upside down Y with a little curve on the top, that is wavelength. And then frequency, we can represent it with an F, like a curve F, or V for frequency. So what do we measure each one of these variables in? Well, we need to know here that we are going to be measuring these variables in different units. You need to know C is going to be measured in meters per second. It is a speed. And it is always 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That is the speed of light. Lambda, which is wavelength, that is measured in meters. So lambda is measured in meters. And then frequency, which is again F or V, we measure that in hertz, or one second, one over second, or S to the negative first. We will be using this when light is seen as a wave. If you remember back, we talked about light behaves like a wave and as a particle. So we are looking at light as a wave. We need to use this equation. C equals lambda times velocity. So let's go ahead and take a look here at an example problem. Remembering C equals lambda times V. So let's write that equation down. Remembering here that C is always 3.00 meters per second. 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we can go ahead and take a look at our sample problem. What is the wavelength of ultraviolet light, UV light, with a frequency of 2.63 times 10 to the 16th hertz. So remembering here my guess method, which is basically my givens. I know the equation here. I'm given C as a constant. I'm given the wavelength. What is the wavelength is what I'm looking for. I'm given the frequency, so F or V equals 2.63 times 10 to the 16th hertz. And I do not know, my unknown is going to be my wavelength, which remember here, this is wavelength. And remember, we are measuring it in meters. So the equation that I want to use is C equals lambda V. C 
is I'm going to substitute in my variables 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is equivalent to my unknown times my known of 2.63 times 10 to the 16th hertz. And now I need to solve basically for my unknown. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2.63 times 10 to the 16th. Those will cancel. Divide this by 2.63 times 10 to the 16th. And we will get a final answer here of lambda being equivalent to, type this in your calculator, 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 2.63 times 10 to the 16th, 1.14 times 10 to the negative 8th, and I know that is meters. And that is your answer there for the wavelength in this sample problem. Now, remember, we said light behaves both as a wave and as a particle. We also want to look at what happens when it is a particle. And for that case, we look at energy, which is Planck's constant times frequency. So what does this really detail? Well, again, we're looking at all of this information here when light is behaving as a particle. So let's get this basic information done and looked at. We looked at what happens when it's a wave. Now as a particle, we use this other equation, which is energy equals Planck's constant, which is H, times frequency. Again, frequency can be F or V. We're using V here. Energy is always measured in joules. H is Planck's constant, which is, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times second. And again, frequency, or V, is hertz, which is uh, our measurement for frequency. We use this when light is seen as a particle that is different than when we view it as a wave. And let's look at an example problem here for calculating energy, determine the frequency of a radio wave when the energy is 2.02 times 10 to the negative 23rd joules per photon. Now again, anytime that you are given energy, you know you are using that equation. All right? You know you're using that equation. So I have energy. That's what I'm looking to, um, I'm given. I'm given energy here, which is 2.02 times 10 to the negative 23rd joules. That is equivalent to H, which is Planck's constant. And if you can't remember Planck's constant, we can look right back at it. Right here, we can pull up and see it's going to be 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. And then times V, and that is my unknown. Again, I will divide both sides by 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. That will cancel. And I end up here with my V, which is equivalent to 
Sig Figs. This one here has two. This one has four. My answer should only have, I'm sorry, three Sig Figs in this one, four here. My answer should only have three Sig Figs. So I'm going to round this to 3.05 times 10 to the 8th. And I know I'm looking for V, and it's always going to be measured in hertz. And that is how you calculate the energy of a photon.